Um, Sophie, you're a pilot into the universe of Chinese. We are going to continue our year-end special edition talking about the 36 stratagems of like wartime um, tactics or stratagems on how to outwin, outmaneuver maneuver your enemy. So last time we talked about the Tou Liang Huan Zhu, which is um, replacing slowly, like undetected, under the radar, replacing the best man of your enemy. And then eventually what's remaining over there won't, won't be even a threat to you when you replace the best, best man out. So that's Tou Liang Huan Zhu. Today we have Wu Zhong Sheng Yu. Wu Zhong Sheng Yu also uh, was used frequently in contemporary Chinese. Um, when we accuse something of, when we accuse somebody of making something up, make up something, we say Wu Zhong Sheng Yu. Um, it's kind of like a misinformation in 2022 American lingo. Like you misinform people, you make something up. <laughs> so that's Wu Zhong Sheng Yu. Uh, okay, let's go one by one. Wu. This nothingness come from dance. In ancient Chinese, we have this kind of a dancer holding up something in hand. And this is our a sign for 20. So 20 and then um, the tree symbol underneath. So it's a kind of a dance for almost like a ritual. I would imagine in agricultural society, right? When you have a harvest, you have extra plant uh, or crops you can hold in your hand to as a display of um, abundance. So since you harvest, you're holding your hand, you dance to it, right? To to express the thankfulness, great gratitude of having a good year. So that's kind of image of this dancers holding in hand of something plant-based. And this is our, um, icon for 20. So 20 of plant in one hand, 20 of plant in another hand. And here is the standing up kind of a ballet uh, leg, standing on the toes kind of feet. So that means kind of a dancer, right? So it's elevated, elevé. Is it called a relevé? Yeah, relevé uh, in ballet terms of uh, standing on the toes. So it's, it's a trained dancer, I guess. It's not just random people standing on toes, but it's somebody, I guess, is a choreographed um, involved with harvesting the celebration. Um, but how that dancing image was borrowed to become this nothingness is beyond, you know, our contemporary later day language users um, guess, like how this jump of meaning from dancing to nothing come from? I couldn't explain. Um, except, uh, okay, sound-wise or image-wise, they are related. We have wu means dancing, and wu here means nothing, and they came from the same origin. So somewhere along the line of the evolution of the language, some people decided using this to mean nothing. And nothing, this concept is kind of, kind of, have concept to understand, right? When you have something in front of you, like yo, we talk about wu and yo. So opposing concepts here, yo are very concrete. We have three finger hand over there. And then we have here, this is the meat symbol. So you have meat next to your hand. That is, <laughs> that is to say, your food safe, food security, like you have enough to eat, to feed your family. You even have meat. So I guess compared with harvesting with plant-based um, nutrition, this meat, this protein nutrition um, was even uh, more precious back then. So having a good year, grow your crops, harvest is sort of controllable, predictable, right? But when you have meat, that means that some hunters have to go out there, either hunt, be skillful enough, or trap something, animals, and then capture, and then you have meat. And of course, uh, back, back then, probably um, on farms, uh, farm animals just raised um, for meat 
could also exist. Um, but overall, having meat was a major half back then. So this eventually extended into half. That's the concept of half. And in the this is half not, but this is a half, right? So by from the action of dance or nothing uh, to this concept action of half meat in your hand to means something. So there is this also uh, from verb to noun conversion there from nothing into something. So half in comparison to nothing is a, a lot more easier to express because you can visually see it. We just put in the frame what back then people would have valued most, which is, I mean, not money. Money is today's coveted item, right? Um, but back then having meat in your hand is the major half. Um, in comparison to that, nothing is really hard to express because then that will be an empty frame. We cannot, we cannot, <laughs> get this nothingness in an empty frame uh, format, right? So somebody have to come up with something. So why dance is then borrowed to mean nothing is beyond me. Could be, I mean, I can make up some stories like, okay, dancing is a ritual. It's, it's a time-based. So after dance, nothing left in there. Like it, you cannot preserve dance. It's performance art. And before the time of recording, you cannot even keep a record of somebody danced to music, like a music production, dancing, all that happen, occur real time. There's no preservation of that. So probably in that sense, um, it's time-based, it's temporary. From that, it, we can mean, okay, there used to be dance here, but now there's nothing. We cannot really hold on to it. Dance, when it's over, it's gone. Okay. Zhong, block, cut in the middle, just visually to express, express spatially as something right in the middle, equally uh, with equal distance from either side. So that's our middle. Nothing else to say about that. It's a very direct visual representation of what do you mean by middle and from this middle we mean we can extend into within it's like anywhere in the middle it has to be it doesn't have to be 50 50 cut it can you know just as, as long as within this range that means it's within there so that extended um not an accurate middle cut but it can be it can it started from middle and then it can extend into within it's in the middle of something Okay, Sheng, we have the soil image at the bottom. The soil, because we have here, the first vertical horizontal line is uh, the ground level. And then we have this, mm, this root of the plant getting below the ground level, right? Kind of like that. And then we have a horizontal line, longer even than the ground level as a major indicator to mean, okay, th this is the location we're talking about. We're talking about below the ground level, somewhere down where plants uh, take their roots holding onto the soil. So that's the portion we're talking about. So that becomes soil or earth or underground. All that meaning can be packed into this one icon, just visually we represent it to mean the, the area, the region, the material underground. And then the top uh, upturning bowl shape, with a vertical line in the middle. Um, yeah, I just realized that it looks like a trident, right? Um, but it's not a it's not a weapon. It's the plant. So it's a Chinese way to represent anything growing from the soil, from the ground. And so we have something growing, a plant above the ground. That's just you know for a agrarian society. That means growing uh, it's most direct right so plant over soil that's something gross that's the result of growing um or the most important kind of a growing which is plant growing right wu zhong sheng you means from this nothingness within this nothingness 
uh, you notice that the Chinese we put within after Wu. So the object first, and then we add the positioning of this object. Right now we're talking about in the middle or within the object. So we will say Wu Zhong instead of Zhong Wu. Zhong Wu is the English way. We have to say within nothing grows something, right? That's the English expression. But Chinese, we flip. We have the noun coming first. And then the position or the attributes of the noun go after it, especially the positioning, I think. OK, so Wu Zhong Sheng You simply means you fabricate something from nothing. And here I'm using a 3D rendering art that purely from somebody's imagination put together on this uh, 2D uh, space, but it looks like a 3D object. Uh, it, it, it doesn't exist in life, right? It's not a, a life, life drawing. It's purely <laughs> Wu Zhong Sheng You. It's created from nothing. Like nothing exactly look like that, but we have elements of that, right? Like the crystal balls, are definitely we, we saw that in our daily life, but they are like a hovering, floating in this 3D space. It's almost like a dreamland and with all those rings of gold and silver circling around some white color, like a marble ball. And that's something uh, like all that texture, the arrangement, the spatial sense and everything hovering anti-gravity that only occur kind of in a dreamland and can easily, I mean, I don't know how easy that is, I guess relatively easily with the current technology to render into a 3D art like that. And I'm using this picture to illustrate that that, that is the kind of Wu Zhong Sheng You. And in the strategy sense, at wartime, how do you, what, uh, how do you apply? Like, what do you mean by Wu Zhong Sheng You? From, from nothing create something? Now, simply is a strategy to misinform, to confuse your enemy. So you are putting out signals or lines or fake news, whatever. You put it out there to your enemy. And then your enemy receives the, the information, the signal. They have to detect, is this real or not? And depends on how, I guess, how artistic, not artistic, but how how your side of intelligence is or how you make up this fake things. Uh, you can put up small lines, big lines. You, you build a fake world basically to dis disillusion your competitor or your enemy until they, they take what you put out there as a real situation and get tricked by you, the ultimate big line, buy into what you sold to them. And that's the time when you can do your thing to them. I mean, 2022 still applies. Wu Zhong Sheng You. I guess all of us here are just, you know, appreciating thousands of years ago, put, people put together such an expression. And it, it means such way of thinking, such way of tricking people to fabricating things right, already existed, evidence in our language. So 2022, people should get smarter, right? Okay, cash into the currency of thinking by one word a day. Sophie, see you another day.